So uh, this is how we start off. I uh, got my ingot uh, plate there, a spoon for skimming, and a scooper. I got my 80,000 BTU uh, propane unit there on a barbecue grate and an old bucket and uh, wheel weights, sorting wheel weights from uh, the stick on weights while I uh, wait for the pot to boil. Okay, so now that I got my this batch here melted down, I'm gonna dump some of these little puppies in the uh, take the wheel clips off. Use a spoon with a holes in the bottom of it, let the lead go through. See there's a wheel weight I picked out there. It must be made out of zinc. There's some more zinc ones. Just pop them all. Get rid of all that crap. Yeah. That's basically Done. Okay, so now I've skimmed off all the wheel weights, taken the skimmed the dross off. It all goes in the garbage. That's all the metal clips from the wheel weights. They all float to the top, of course. So now I'm gonna put a little. See, it's kind of it's getting kind of shiny there, but it's time to clean up the metal a little bit. So I'm going to put some some uh, flux in it. Yeah, I'll put some of that in there. This is uh, you can use a lot of stuff, Marvelux. And, I mean, this is Marvelux. But you can put beeswax or candles wax or all kinds of stuff. even sawdust on top. What this does is you want to stir it right into the mix. Is, uh, what it does is it uh, makes all the makes the impurities in the in the metal bind to the flux. So it's just going to be a skimmy mess, and I'm going to stir this around in there until. Marvelux is whatever flux it is you use until it's all kind of consumed or burnt up. Once it's done its job, then you just skim all that stuff out. You can see there. Let me see. I should maybe have it a little bit higher temperature, so I'm gonna see if I can. Move this pot over a bit. It's actually a little bit low temperature. Uh, yeah, I better just turn this thing up. Okay, what I've done here is I've Turned up the pot temperature a little bit because I want to make sure this flux does its job. It's kind of lumpy this time for some reason. I don't know what, what the deal is there. It's a, but it's doing its job. So, well, part of the idea with this too is you want to melt the stuff at the lowest temperature you can so you don't burn off too many of the good metals. And, uh, and it's when you pour it into the ingot molds, if it's lower temperature, the ingot molds uh, harden quicker. Right now I'm taking about, let, let the metal 
You just sit for five minutes. So here I'm gonna take this. Whatever crap this is on top here. I'm gonna get rid of that. This is all sorted wheel weights. I've sorted out the stick-on weights from the mix. You don't have to sort all your wheel weights uh, from stick-on weights before you start. Just get enough made to sort it to fill a pot. And uh, you can see I've got all my stick-on weights there. I've almost finished sorting my bucket. And uh, then uh, you got to sit watch you want to sit and watch the thing is it's melting down a pot of wheel weights anyway so might as well be sorting wheel weights so you can see now this is starting to, after it's being fluxed metal's getting pretty clean this is my initial cleaning of the wheel weights i'm gonna once i get all my bars made pure wheel weights without metal clips in them then i'll melt the bars down once more, flux the holes, shebang, another time, and then I'll have a pretty good batch of clean wheel weights. So now, what I do, is I just take a scoop of this, and I'm gonna pour that into there. Yeah, put a little more into this guy. More into that one. It's kind of hard to do this good while you're filming with a camera and trying not to get burned at the same time. I don't think I'll get there. There we go. You don't want to fill the ingots so much that they spill that they connect to each other it's, uh, and when you take them out they're kind of hard to get apart so that's basically how you do that so this is my unit by the way Got propane tank over there and everything I need my wife's burned oven mitts there's my scrap pile over there. Okay, so uh, next, it's time to, I got some, some wheel weights, ingots. And there, I let them sit for five minutes to solidify. some four ingots. Now what I was saying before about using the lowest heat you can get away with, the, uh, part of the reason for that too is zinc doesn't melt at about 800 to 850 degrees Fahrenheit and uh, the lead melts at about 650 and tin at about 7, 750. So uh, if you keep it below 800 the zinc wheel weights won't uh, melt and they'll just float to the top and it won't contaminate your your mix that's uh, all the scrap that skimmed off the top and you can see there's a lot of wheel weights in there those are definitely zinc because they wouldn't melt so I'll just empty the fill the ingot tray with uh, this lead and then I'll fill that pot up again. It's best not to do too much in the pot. I just fill the pot right to the brim, heaping load, melt it down, skim off the weights, <coughs> and then make my ingots and then do another pot full. Otherwise you get too much of a burden of metal clips floating to the top and it's hard to make sure all the wheel weights are sunk into the molten mess there and to be sure the good ones are melted.
Okay, so now begins phase two, where I have uh, 72 pounds of wheel weights, nine pounds of linotype, and two pounds of 50-50 bar solder. That should give me an alloy of 2% uh, tin, which is exactly what I want. So that's 72 bars of wheel weights and nine bars of lino two bars of solder piled up into that pot just to give an idea of how much uh, the pot can hold. We'll see later on when it's melted down how, uh, how much molten lead that uh, yields. So that uh, 72 bars of wheel weights and 9 bars of linotype and 2 bars of 50-50 solder and that is uh, saw in the previous video clip that's about how much uh, it fills that pot once it's all melted down. It's a little bit more in the pot right now because I dumped some old bullets and screw that I had sitting in a little box. Not much. So uh, that's about the capacity of that pot. And I've uh, used this pot for many years so I know from my notes uh, how much it can uh, hold in terms of bars. And each bar is about 1.1 pounds the way I pour them. Okay. 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 Okay.